Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new here. So today it's a really impromptu vlog. I'm currently in Miami. I'm here for my friend's bachelorette and she's American. I'm obviously British and she was like, Emma, I really want to go to a Target. So we have found a city centre. I didn't even know that was a thing. City centre Target store and we are going to go shopping and take you with us. I thought it would be quite fun because when I first ever went to Target, I actually vlogged that. Like it's in um, an American road trip vlog. I'll link it below if you want to see it. I was so excited but we like drove to it. It was huge. We're going to have a look around on target see if we can get any extra snacks for the bachelorette because we always need snacks and take you with us so let's see what's in there okay so is this a good target and this, this is an inner city. But this is an inner city. Like usually <gasps> it's like a Target city and it's usually like only like a grocery store. Oh okay. Um, well we we have like beach clothes in here. Yeah, it's more like a Walgreens, but here we have the whole thing. Well it's Miami, right? Of course. But Christina actually forgot her white swimsuit. Well it's not that she forgot it, it didn't arrive in time. So we're basically hunting. Christina was like, Target will have one. I was like, what? Target in America sells swimsuits? Target sells everything. My outfit is weird, guys, because we had like wind earlier, so I had to put a cape on. But now we're really warm. So if you wonder why the outfit is weird, that's why. Okay. So you want a white swimsuit. You know when I, oh, that's really nice. Oh, I actually love this one. It's more cream, crochet. That looks really expensive. That does look really The price is great in here. Cause that's what I was wondering, like what the prices are. I mean, that looks very premium. That could be free people. You know, when I was younger, I used to go to all of the Asda stores that was obviously Walmart in America to look for Mary Kate and Ashley items. Wait, I forgot about the Mary Kate and Ashley had a range and it was only in Asda and Wal um, Walmart. Yeah, how cool is that? I was a super fan. So that was easy. We just got in here and she already thinks she's found the one. I know, no, that's really good. That looks really expensive. Honestly, Actually, these are the really shoes, nice. At, like the Target shoes are the shit. Like, like they have, they have. This is so them. nice. This is like painter. Like I really like these. I would wear these. They remind me of like jelly sandals. Oh my goodness. They have a pink version. They are incredible. They're a work of art. Yeah, so we're doing like a white and gold theme and gold. Christina said we all need to wear gold accessories. I mean, these are great. This is, cool. this is kind of it giving me like, I don't want to wear my diamonds, Affordable right? vibes. Yeah, $7.99 for Erin. Yeah, they're, they're very bridal. Oh my god, I like the pink and gold. They're really yeah, pretty. very Miami. Yeah. This look cute. But you know, my favorite one is the one that you just picked up, so definitely. Oh my god, I want to buy these The for prices Amber. are great. Yeah. I have a pair of shoes from this brand and they're from Target and they're really good. Wow, these are so nice and these are $7.19. Okay, that's amazing. They have such nice clips in here. Like, I'm sorry. These are $8. These are so beautiful. Look at these sets. $10. Target is great. This is why you walk into Look Target how nice these for are. one thing and you leave. Like, everything. <gasps> Look at this hair clip. I'm sorry. That is incredible. Like, I would pay a lot for that. If that was designed, that's five dollars. Mm -hmm. I want it. Like I really, really want that. These are really nice as well. So yeah, they look really comfy. They're like leather, but like puffy leather, like comfortable leather. And they have the nice brown ones as well next to them. Christina's literally just like trying them in another store. I love that. I'm gonna try them. I have socks on, but oh my gosh, they're so cute. They are. They're so cute. They're really nice. How much are they? Gosh, they have some really great things in here. I'm impressed. 34, 90. Okay, that's really great. They also have really cute slippers and they're $9 on sale. How nice. Like, I love these. These are on clearance. They have like cute socks. Oh my gosh, love them. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Oh my God, this one has a pig on it. And like dressing gowns, which are so fluffy and comfortable. Oh my God, they have Prime. Like they literally have Prime. I am so excited about this drink. You could only get it from the vitamin shop. Okay, I think we're gonna need a basket. I am gonna get myself some of this because it's amazing. I'm going to get an orange one and a blue raspberry. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is like really nice, fancy, like Tabitha Brown. This is giving me luxe vibes. They have like a vegan cherry and granola trail mix, vegan garlic, pickled okra. Everything's vegan. This is very like whole foods vibe. How exciting is this? Vegan black garlic dry roasted nuts. They even have, I'm sorry, organic dandelion nettle tea. This is 
yeah this is so whole foods they actually have a great selection of juices here like better than the uk we've got like kombucha probiotic drinks and the brands are such nice brands this is great this is lovely yeah. if you told me that that was from somewhere really expensive i would believe you that would be a really nice beach cover up oh, maybe they have starbucks in here that is so cool oh my gosh look at the pajamas this is the aussie that we have in england the branding is so different like look at the branding it's a lot more neutral in the uk it's actually probably better priced here like that's a big ass aussie and it's 7.59 we have function of beauty in the uk but again the branding is different like also, unless this is a different function of beauty, but I actually quite like this branding. I swear it's more expensive in the UK. And they have so many beauty aisles. Like, they have Essie. I have not seen Essie in a store in so long. I didn't know that was a thing here. But, like, look at the beauty aisles. Kind of just reminds me of, like, a Tesco or a Asda, to be honest, with, like, the beauty stuff. It's just always interesting for me to see the price differences. I mean, these are probably the same as the UK, like L'Oreal Mascara is a great, and they're just like the same price, really. They have all the good stuff. A lot of stuff sold out, though, actually. Okay, I did not know that Bioma, that you could get that in the US. I've seen that in the UK. Or CeraVe. CeraVe is amazing, and they have loads of it here. They have some really cute, like, small brands. Well, I'm assuming small brands. They look like nice small brands. How lovely. You could get some nice gifts in here, actually. They even sell Pixie in here. Okay, these are like everything. NYX, NYX, Elf. Okay, you could really get everything from here. And then all of the minis, how cute. How helpful is that for travel? It's kind of like a mini Sephora. What are you hunting for, pajamas? pajamas, you really, really love this brand. Oh wow, so they have like brands in here? I wanna say. That looks really soft. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. so well priced. Um, all matching pajamas for her wedding. And it was these, and it was honestly the best pajamas I've ever worn. Oh, wow, there you go, guys. You heard it here first. Go and get yeah, these. And it like sold out in like 30 seconds. Well, there you go. And they have some in stock. Seeing like the cleaning stuff in here, this is really, really well priced. In the UK, if we were to get like a sustainable cleaning brand, we have one called Method and it's great, but it's expensive. This is actually really, really well priced. Let's have this in hotels here again. It's not too expensive. And they have like the health aisles. I never think American protein bars are anywhere near as good as the UK. I've tried a lot of them. Like this looks like it's gonna be good. Oh my God cookie dough but is it good i don't know like should i risk it oh no they have protein bars i thought that it was like actual cookie dough like i'm sorry they do a small flavor protein bar but i just know it's not gonna taste nice trust me i've made this mistake before although i haven't tried these and they have less than one gram peanut butter cups but look these are expensive and they have things like sleep tablets and gummy nutrition I've never tried these where they even have protein chips i'm sorry ranch flavor ranch is so great okay we're on the cereal aisle so this is just boring this is just standard stuff but what's like american oh my god i've never tried captain crunch <gasps> peanut butter captain crunch <gasps> i've never tried cinnamon toast crunch either <gasps> reese's puffs oh this is when goodness. i was being healthy no this one. <laughs> <gasps> Lucky Charms that actually just tastes like sugar. I remember Harvey Nichols got some like American candy and I had Lucky Charms and I was so disappointed. But it's literally marshmallow. Yeah, but like they just weren't nice. They were just so fluffy and sugary. They used to just pick up the marshmallows and eat them. Yeah. Okay, I love that they sell Dunkin' Donuts in here. Oh my god, they sell the classic cinnamon roll. No way. I love Cinnabon so much. Wait, is this coffee? We're in the coffee aisle. Oh, so that's, oh, sorry. I, I got really excited. I thought you could buy the cinnamon roll. That's cinnamon, Cinnabon coffee, like the pods. That is so cool. I am obsessed with this brand. Sorry, this is like sparkling grape cocktail on sale for $4. Wow, the branding is so nice. Oh my God, she found the candy aisle. <gasps> oh my gosh, they look yeah. so good. A group, a house full of nine girls. This is what we need. Oh my gosh, yes. Like I'm obsessed with how stuff comes in like cute little boxes here. Okay, so I had some um like cookie kind of cookie cookie cookies and cream. Yes, but it wasn't the pieces. It wasn't no, these are the best. I need to find it. I'll show you why. I know you had the bar. 
the bar. Christina's absolute favorite chocolate is this. We went to like the kind of factory thing in San Francisco and they taste so good. Oh no, we bought loads at Disney, remember? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, remember my favorite was your favorite. Christina grew up on a very firm diet of San Francisco chocolate. Junk food, what is it called? Yeah. The sad diet, the oh. American diet. No, that's, um, that's so sad. Whichever one you told me was the best, that was the best. Was the best. But I'm sorry, are we gonna talk about the fact that they have dairy milk in here? I know, that's what I said, I don't think you mentioned. Yeah, they have dairy milk in here, and they also have Tonys in here, Christina. Like, they have Tonys. They have the whole thing. I'm kind of against buying British stuff when I'm not in England, but like, I, I low-key- British? I low-key would, yeah, I think, oh, maybe not, but I would really, really like some dairy milk, to be honest. No, it's, it's, it's American. Are you kidding me? Well, can we get, um, it's expensive though, it's six, but I'll, I'll happily buy a dairy milk. I really like this brand, Favourite Day. We went on like a road trip in the US and Emily and I bought loads of this stuff because it was just so nice. Like the covered pretzel, I actually got these. I bought this for my mum and my mum was like obsessed with this shit. It's one of the best things she's ever had so I'm actually gonna buy her some as a present. She was like, um, it was insane. So I can't wait to tell her that I found this. Okay, my boyfriend and I are obsessed with this. When I lived in Canada, I used to always get them. I thought they were healthy, they're not. And oh my goodness, I introduced my boyfriend when he came to Montreal and now we're both obsessed but he told me not to buy him loads of chocolate this is really cute like my mind really wants to buy these give it as a gift or save as a treat but I have no idea like what this tastes like but cake balls wow we can't get that back home what is this? Ooh, pork rinds, that does not sound good. You know the thing about America, they're obsessed with this like zero calorie soda. Emily bought loads of it when we were here and said that like these kind of, these kind of drinks are like everywhere. It's like a thing. Yeah, like why is it such a thing here? So this is kind of like the market area. I guess we've got like bread. I wonder if they do good sourdough here. I just can't imagine that they're gonna do good bread in here. But they might, they might prove me wrong because everything else is kind of good in here. No, I don't see any good bread. One thing I do see that I remember last time I came to Target. Oh my goodness, look. They do like these mini cookies that say like, I love you, true love. I'm sorry, look at these cupcakes. Are you kidding me? Just a work of art. But like, I just wanna buy everything because it's so cute. Look at these. Frosted chocolate cookies. <gasps> sugar mini cookies, like that's not a thing in England. We can only buy biscuitiers and they're really expensive. These are like sugar cookies. I've got to say they have really great healthy snacks in here. When I was on my road trip, I got these, but 4 99 like I think that's kind of expensive, but then you do get quite a lot. They're like freeze dried fruit and they're really yummy. A lot of clothes in here. Oh my goodness. These are so good, like so yummy. When I lived in Canada, I was obsessed with this stuff. Then I realized I think it's actually got um, quite a lot of sugar in it. This is 2 19 for 59 ounces. I don't know what that means. It looks like 1.74 liters. That is huge. Ice tea. I think I found my aisle. This does not exist in England. They have mug cakes from Betty Crocker. They have protein muffins. Like, guys, comment below. What is jello? Is jello just jelly? Like, what? Why is it called jello? That is so fun. And look, they have like peanut butter cookie mix. These are all so great. I really want to do some baking now. I love the Funfetti, it's like my favorite taste. They're also great for doing gluten-free stuff here, but the UK has got better at that. Oh my goodness, they even sell Giardelli chocolate chips. I can't cope. So I like this brand Favorite Day, and I like this brand Giardelli. This is insane. Sorry, look at this, vanilla candy coating. How beautiful is like the branding? The branding of all of this stuff is great. Yeah, I bet they have some really artificial <laughs> food colorings in here, which I'm not mad about, but then they also have some like nice healthy ones, like this Good & Gather looks like a great brand. One of my favorite things to do is to buy really, really bad peanut butter in America. My boyfriend has a favorite brand, this one, Jif. <laughs> I'm like a bit of a peanut butter snob, but he is like obsessed with this stuff. I'd be more of like a Justin's girl, like this one looks amazing, vanilla almond butter, and obviously like who doesn't love Nutella? It's good and gather, like I'm really enticed by this brand. It looks really nice. Look at these. Oh, we have Bon Man Man, Welsh. Oh my God. I used to go to a place called Expectations for breakfast and they have this brand and it's such a nice jam. It's probably really not good for me. As if they have a squeezy jam. This is wild, Smuckers. That's very American, isn't it? Okay, no, these are very American. Like what, Nutella, grab and go. I'm sorry, are you kidding me? They have Chick-fil-A sauce. That is incredible. 
for me, it's the things like this that are just so American, like Sweet Baby Ray's, Gourmet Sauces. It's cute though, but like, do people buy this? Oh my God. I so want to take loads of ranch dressing home because ranch is just elite. Okay, I'm now on like this section of drinks and oh my goodness, they have this brand Super Coffee. How cool does this sound? Like they have a pumpkin pie latte and a cinnamon roll. Like, I don't know, are these protein coffee coffees? They're plant-based. What, 10 gram of pro protein? I say they are protein coffees. They sound incredible. Like, I kind of want one. But my US friend was saying that Pringles aren't a thing. Pringles are definitely a thing. Like, they literally have Pringles in here. Look how big these are. I am shook to the core. <gasps> oh my gosh, why do they just have white fudge animal cookies? Like, with the crisps. I'm confused, but they look great. I love looking at, like, cereal bars. Made good. I actually got some of these in the airport. They're really, really nice. I got, like, the ball version. They actually have some good bars. Like, these are much nicer than the protein bars, I have to say. In America, I kind of just get cliff because they're the nicest ones, in my opinion. And then on the kind of cookie aisle, oh my goodness. I always love seeing, like, the Chips Ahoy and the Oreos because they always have so many different types of Oreos. Like, what are Oreo Thins? Is that a thing? And then look, circus animals, mini Oreos. Oh my goodness. Oh, this favorite day again, soft baked cookies. They look fantastic. And I know that these milk covered chocolate grams are great. And then they also have, oh my God, cheeses. Okay, my boyfriend is obsessed with these. I think the white cheddar are even better than like the regular, but I can't buy them because we just sit and eat so many. And goldfish. I always say to my American friends, I'm like, I love those fish things. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, why are they so outrageously delicious? seeing like all the dips it kind of reminds me of when I used to live in Canada and they had some chips in Canada that were like called all dressed I don't think you can get that in the US it was ruffles oh my gosh I wish we had ruffles at home in London ruffles are so good um you know they don't do all dressed crisps here it's a Canadian thing and they're like the tastiest things ever all dressed they're so good also I used to love these veggie straws Trail mix, that's such an American thing. Like, I feel like trail mix isn't as much of a thing in the UK, but they make it look so pretty here. Christina's just saying there's no homeware here. Oh my gosh, that would be so good. I'm gonna look. Have we found homeware? Because that would be amazing. Found a very small home goods section. Really? This is it's kind of a bit like Sainsbury's, although I don't think it's Sainsbury's sell iPhones. Oh, they have like kettlebells, loads of gyms. You could get everything from here. You don't really need to go anywhere else, do you? And I'm seeing the Valentine's stuff, I'm not gonna lie, it's making me really excited. Like, how cute. I'm sorry, this is amazing. <gasps> Look at this icing with a star tip and these glasses. Oh my gosh. So I would buy all of this and make like candy cookies. Oh my gosh, they even have a fondue set in here. No way, are you kidding me? They have a Hershey's cast iron skillet. No, 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 I need to buy this and a Reese's one. Also, here's some home stuff. Oh, okay, it's actually really nice. This is a great vibe. This is giving me like habitat kind of vibe. This is lovely. Decorative sculptures, like this would be great in my home, M shell home. The vibe is very, very similar. Love anything like Valentine's Day. I'm sorry, I want to buy it. Three dollars, I'll take three. I wish I had more room in my suitcase. I want to host a dinner for Valentine's and have all of this cute stuff. Like these lamps are actually gorgeous. They're so aesthetic for 60. I think that's really great. Gorgeous mirrors. I'm super impressed actually with the home stuff. Oh my gosh. These are really beautiful. I would love this for my laundry. 38. The candles are so nice. I love how ripped they are. I love this marble tray. I'm sorry, that is a work of art. Yeah, I know. I was like, this is so stunning. It's kind of giving me like habitat vibes. I don't know, everything in here is stunning. It's very like, I need to stop saying stunning. Everything in here is nice. It's a very neutral, lovely vibe, isn't it? The Target's really good for like, getting those trends. Yeah, like the trends and they're like, yeah, and they're like affordable trends. Like I'm so impressed, like the goals and the muted tones and then suitcases if you need it. Oh my gosh. No, they have Hershey's Solid Heart. There's a dollar section, stop it, Christina. I just want everything, it's so exciting. Like a markdown section, I guess. No, it's just like it's usually our first entrance, like it's kind of like ah. Maybe this one doesn't have it. <gasps> no way. It's usually just kind of junk. Oh, okay. Okay, well we can have some fun junk. Nothing like fun junk to make you feel better, right? I mean, 
Thank you. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, the five dollars. That's really that's nice, so though. I have stuff like this to store my makeup in. Yeah, and I feel like it's like twenty yeah. bucks. Yeah. Sorry, this is so nice with the gold and the white. They really get the trends, don't they? Like you're right. Oh my gosh, a dollar. Oh my gosh, these would be so cute. Look at the big water bottles. I actually just paid twenty pounds for one of these. I mean, mine's double the size, but this is five dollars. Yeah. And it says keep drinking, ready, go. I literally have one of these at home. It's just, it's double the size, but still, that's great. It was also like triple the price. <gasps> I mean, yeah, these are all like, you don't need them, but I love them. Like I would fall and buy all of these accidentally. Cause I love stuff like this, like Galentine's. Yes, this is like the seasonal aisle. This is so cute. <gasps> that is marble. Bullseye multi, I don't know what that is, but that's cute. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, they do Valentine's m and I'm really here for how all out they go on like all seasons. How cute that everything is so beautifully themed. And like these even say, you're great, happy Valentine's Day. What do you think to these coffees? Because I saw them earlier and I was like, they look and sound amazing, but are they actually bad? I've never heard of those, but these are really popular. I haven't had them before, but these are really popular. Oh, wow. I think they're like a healthy alternative to- Alcohol? <laughs> no, it's like a Red Bull. Oh, wow. And then I like the look of this brand, Core Power, as well. But you never know if it's actually going to taste nice. It's so tempting. You like walk down here and you just want to buy everything. <gasps> oh, you're so cute. They just have like everything. And then this is very American, like all the baseball cards and stuff. It's self checkout, just like at home. Oh, I like that brand, Just Seems. <laughs> I'm sorry for getting dairy milk, but it's needed. Candy for $199, and I mean, we didn't just get candy, Christina did get like pajamas and a swimsuit. You actually got quite a lot of clothes, yeah. yeah. So we're out of Target now, we got our goodies. If we had a car with us, we would have got a lot more, but the girls at the Airbnb have like a lot of snacks. We were on like a double snack room, weren't we? Yeah, and honestly, that one was like smaller than most and kind of picked over. Like, yeah, a lot of stuff was like sold out. Yeah, like when, so my family lives in Vegas now, and the ones there are like three times the size of this one. You could spend half a day But did you day. have a good experience? Like, do you feel like you got your Target fit? Oh, I got every single thing Yay, I wanted. she got her Target fit. We even found dairy milk. Christina and I got dairy milk from the airport. I know that's bad, we're in America. We should have American snacks, but yeah. the dairy milk is just so good. I don't know if it's gonna be the same, the dairy milk from Somebody, here. Some Brit told me that like Hershey's tastes like a public toilet once. <laughs> and I, every time I try it now, I like that's, that's all I can think of. And so I can never but have it again. Someone also told me that um, America doesn't sell the same dairy milk. Apparently, it's a different, different recipe. Surely, that's Probably not a with thing. a lot more like chemicals and preservatives. Oh, more chemicals in America? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So should days nicer. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? So, guys, we just got out of Target. Just say they had so much Prime in there, and apparently, in the UK right now, this is selling for fifty pounds. I'm not about to resell it. I'm about to eat it and drink it. Eat it and drink it. I'm about to drink it. This one is so good. Like when I was in New York, it was so hard to find it. They have it in vitamin shop. And honestly, I have to go to so many stores to find it. And they just had loads. So there we go. <laughs> Technical difficulties. People keep messaging me on Instagram being like, how did you find that? And I was like, is that? It was like, there was loads in Target. It was a whole like, section. Oh my gosh, I wish I had more luggage because I would genuinely buy it all when I'm in New York later this week or next week. I am gonna buy as much as I can fill my final 3kg of my case with. Not to sell it, just to drink it. Like, it's really nice. Honestly, leave your Miami stuff with me and I'll take it home. So you're <laughs> and just space. take all the pride. Like, I want to fill my fridge with it. So at Target, we bought a Cadbury. Let's do a taste test, see if it tastes different. This is the pre-batch nerves kicking in. Christine? <laughs> Christina thinks it's not milky enough. She's like, no, it tastes different. No, that's a placebo. I think if I didn't say anything to you, you wouldn't have realized. I'm gonna Google it. I'm gonna Google if dairy milk is different in America. I Googled it. It's something to do with like cocoa butter and fat content and evaporated milk. So you were probably right. But it's still delicious. Like, I'm really oh, no, not mad really about good. it. It's still really yummy. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm like, I'm happy. I'm very happy with that. Say hey, bye bye to the gorgeous pool and on to the next. <laughs> well, guys, I just really wanted to do an impromptu vlog. So if you made it this far, leave a comment and write Cabri because we love Cabri. Yeah, we are now going to go and check into our Airbnb. So check out the two Miami vlogs for that. This was just a little <gasps> bonus so vlog excited. for you. But I hope you enjoyed this bonus Target vlog. Come say hi on Instagram at mshalax and I'll see you next time.